We're going to talk about learning design. Some of you have already been there, but many of you probably have not. Okay? So here's our goals for today. We're going to talk and hopefully help you appreciate why learning design exists and what it does, give you an understanding about the UDL credentialing and certification initiative and what it's attempting to do, uh, appreciate how learning design can support your projects, and why I have my wonderful colleagues up here, hear firsthand from them what it's doing in California. So like a good UDL design, we're trying to think about those barriers. So in preparing the presentation, I'm not saying I did a good job of addressing these barriers. I'm just saying I thought about them. So you can tell me afterwards how well I addressed them. But thinking about some of the language and terminology that's used, thinking about the UDL framework and the guidelines. Some of you may not even, even after these couple of days, feel like you have a great grasp on that. Uh, maybe you don't even know what an online credential is or certification. Uh, maybe you haven't had the opportunity to work in an online learning platform. And many of you probably don't know what UDL CCI stands for. So some of those language barriers and obviously using these slides, the importance of some of the visuals that we'll do and we'll do a walkthrough uh, may be a barrier. So I'll do, a, I'll do my best and I know Kathy and Sung will do their best to help address those. So I'm gonna allow them now to introduce themselves and talk a little bit about the work that they're doing. And if, if you want, you can tell me to switch over to the live website and I can do that and show different things. So just tell me. We are always want. flexible, Excellent. just so you know. And we always have barriers, but we overcome them. So good morning, everybody. My name is Kathy Wall. I'm from uh, Santa Clara County Office of Education, which is actually in San Jose, Silicon Valley. You would think a lot of people love online learning, but we have many teachers who need to be um, shown how to press the button on to get online. So that's just a little bit of our experience in the last nine months. Um, the Inclusion Collaborative is a department of the County Office of Ed. Uh, we support general ed and special ed. Uh, we do a lot of projects to enhance that. Um, not only are we in school districts, but we also work in libraries, in early child care. Uh, centers, daycare, homes even. We do have done work with our tech museum and we've got a zoo that we worked with locally. So everyone um, is working towards inclusion and we love that um, UDL is what will disrupt inequity. Isn't that awesome? That's a quote I'm going to be saying now as I get off the elevator. Um, but anyways, so the Inclusion Collaborative, this is our web page. You can go there, inclusioncollaborative.org, and find out what we do about us. You'll see that there's the California One CPIP, and that has all the information about our California One. And this is what our homepage is. Um, in 2018, um, July 1, we were awarded um, one of the two equity um, RFAs grants for the state of California, and we chose to focus on students groups that had special needs, um, and uh, English learners and African American students, and so we were awarded along with San Diego County Office of Ed to um, put this program together to um, really address the inequities that we see in our different student groups. And this is our web page where it's got information about the California One. And you can go link to the California One, which leads you to learning design. Yeah, so thank you, Kathy. And uh, let's let Sung give an opportunity. Is your lab on? You can just use that. Hi, everyone. So for California One, we're so excited about this. And even for the naming of California One, we really thought hard about it. Most of us know California One, the highway, the Pacific Coast Highway. And for us, it has more meaning because we're moving towards one system. We don't want students to be excluded, taken away from high quality general education environments. We want to be working together in one system. How do we do that? We're gonna get on to California One. We're gonna address inequity. We are going to remove barriers. We are going to use universal design for learning as the plate. It is going to hold everything, all content areas, all initiatives, everything that we do, it's not bound by anything. It will raise everything up, and all student groups will rise with that. We're going to create super students. We're the inclusioners. And also, as a state, we want to have some pride. I mean, we see so much state pride with other states, and you know, so often we don't feel that way about California. Let's have some state pride. Let's aim to be number one. Come on, in who's some from way. California? So California one. Let's go. Woo! Thank you, Jose. 
<laughs> so with that, let's uh, go ahead and look at California One. So one of the things that I mentioned earlier is from the standpoint of do I understand universal design for learning, this was one of the best operational definitions that I saw. I don't know if Allison, you take credit for this or if Jamie does, you guys can collaborate and share credit. Fight over but it. this was done at the symposium uh, this past August. And I keep using this because I love the way this definition was crafted. So obviously that goal driven design, but a proactive one and that focus on learner variability in those flexible environments and experiences. So UDL CCI, what is it? It's a project. It's a collaboration between the UDL IRN and CAST in setting forth universal design for learning credentials and certifications. And it's a global field change initiative. So what does that mean? That means that we are trying to establish credentials and certification opportunities that everyone across the globe can use. Not just US based, but everyone across the globe. And it is the engine for learning design. And the goals, as you see here for UDL CCI, we want to focus on that optimal and voluntary. We really want it to be voluntary, not compliance based, but voluntary scaled implementation through those broadly accepted standards, field based experience, and voluntary verification. So UDL CCI as the project is helping to be the engine for the platform learning design. And learning design, it's a vibrant online network community. Mm -hmm. It's a place where people can find UDL resources, can share with each other, can get their credentials, and eventually we'll have certification opportunities for organizations, schools, and uh, products and programs. And it's focused on bringing UDL to everywhere. Every classroom, every lecture hall, boardroom, ed tech company, everywhere. So inside the project that we're working on, these are the three main components that we have in flight right now. We've got two certification opportunities in building and school and in ed tech and curriculum product. And then we have credentials that we're working on. The credentials that are in flight, because we already have one live. Wait. Raise your hand if you've got your blue ribbon. Woohoo! Come All on. right. We're going to give you a nice incentive at the end to help you get your blue ribbon. OK? Our first live credential, UDL Associate Level 1, is focusing on why is UDL so important. And it's a competency-based credential, which means that you don't have to go through any particular curriculum, whether you went to an online workshop or you used resources on learning design. It gives you an opportunity to view the rubric of those competencies that you are required to understand and then gives you the opportunity to demonstrate that. And now, Allison Posey is leading a team that's building the <laughs> next credential. Woohoo! Come on, clap for her. Yeah, Allison, you want to stand up? <laughs> Come on, Allison, stand up. <laughs> Come on, Allison, you're famous. And this is moving from that why is UDL so important into what is UDL. Diving a little bit deeper, and one of the challenges we've always had in this particular one is that it is truly providing a bridge between that theoretical conceptual understanding of why it's important, moving toward practice. So it's not practice based, but it's creating that bridge to practice, which again will be the next level, level three that we'll focus on. And then we'll move on to coaching credentials. And the one thing that Allison helped remind me of is this is all about scaffolding that deep understanding of UDL. So if you have an opportunity to participate in future testing, alpha and beta testing that we're doing, you can see Allison's email here. Go ahead and jot that down and outreach to her so that she can know that you're interested in finding out more about that core foundation level two credential. On the certification side for building schools, it's portfolio based. 
we're validating buildings or schools with a strong UDL implementation. And it's going to serve as a guide for aspiring buildings. And we'll be begin beta testing this May. And Sue Harden, where are you at, Sue? Whoop, whoop. Yeah. Sue Harden is Give her a clap. Team. Clap for her. Come on. And Come again, on. And you see her email here. <laughs> and you can reach out to her if you want more information and become involved. So learning design is providing access to continually growing list of resources. You can go there right now, learningdesign.org, and you can see many of those resources, and it will continue to grow. The competency-based piece is really important. So again, you don't have to go through any particular learning exercise, any particular path to gain the knowledge and skill, but you'll be able to demonstrate that with those credentials. And we're creating tools within that online community that allow you to help support instructional coaching, create initiative hubs, and professional learning communities in private and public communities. And that's what we're going to focus on. Allow uh, Kathy and Sung to share a little bit more about California One, that initiative, and then we'll actually dive into learning design and show you some of the live examples. So as we already reviewed, um, we were awarded in July 2018 a two-year grant um, to provide um, support and solutions to improve the outcomes of students with disabilities, English learners, and um, African-American students. Um, and so we wrote our grant. We reached out to CAST, and they were getting ready to go with learning design. I mean, you can't make up the timing. It was awesome. So we selected learning design as our um, platform for our credentials. And um, we have an initiative hub now. And we have actually coaching groups that have been set up because learning design can actually do coaching um, activities, which is phenomenal. And then we have a level of a community of practice um, that folks partner with us. Um, we have a total of 13 school districts we're working with and four county office of education. And so um, learning design has been the plate that holds all the UDL, as we like to say. <laughs> so, Sun, you want to? Talk oh, yeah. it through. Mm -hmm. I'll drive for through. you. Sure. Are you ready? Come on. This is our platform. So it's awesome. your. It can be yours too. <laughs> so this is learning designed, and it went from the beta to the actual live mm -hmm. uh, site at our state co inclusion conference in late October, not that long ago. And it's already ha has so many things on it. It has 33 pages of quality vetted UDL resources and it continues to grow. So here we are on the page, and you can see the Inclusion Collaborative is a featured, thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> resource. And if we scroll down here, you can see that Steve here is an individual. He's come onto the platform, and he can see his profile, his bookmark learnings, his exams, although you know we don't want to do too much of that. There are other ways to show learning. Uh, we have his initiatives that he's part of. So let's go ahead and let's see what you're part of. Let's see what Steve's involved in here. Let's see if the internet works. <laughs> so along with that, you see on the on my hub. Uh, underneath profiled organizations. And under organizations, uh, we have an organization page. We have the Santa Clara County Office of Education organization page. So learning design is very dynamic in that you can come in as an individual. You can see your organization's hub. You can see initiative hubs. And from our standpoint, Santa Clara County Office of Ed, we really appreciate that. We appreciate that we can have our own curated hub on learning design. We can have our resources that we want to push out. We have our initiative housed here. So let's go ahead into California One. We're feeling your pain, people. <laughs> the internet is not quick, but that's all right. And within our organization page, we have a calendar. And we can put on the events that we would like to highlight for all our members associated, all the individuals on learning design who are associated with our organization 
with our initiative. The events page is really nice. We like it better than Airtable. We want to make that the standard uh, calendar view for our own website in, in lieu of Airtable, in fact. You can put on workshops there, you can put on conferences, you can put on meetings. Uh, in the summer, there's going to be online video conferencing so that even if you're a coach, you'll be able to uh, have those meetings and have those sustained relationships, that coaching and all of that so that even though it's an online platform, we are having that connection. It's not going to be a one and done. You saw that it's scaffolded. We're starting with level one with the associate. We're going to the core, we're going to the practitioner, and we're gonna to go to the coach and maybe UDF fellow, and who knows, there's gonna be endless possibilities there. So even though it's online, it's not gonna be your traditional online-based uh, learning platform because I'm sure we've all taken online classes where it's like post a discussion uh, response and reply twice to another person's response, and there's only so many Good idea, I agree. There's good observations that you can do, you know, but we are competency-based and we want to be a whole new different type of online learning. So in, in the interest of time, um, we are gonna put our information out at the UDL IRN table and we could actually, um, hopefully the internet works better out there and we can take you onto the uh, homepage for California One. Absolutely, and so as a, as a summary and getting a sense of you know, what's in it for you is, really helping to influence uh, learning design resource recommendations. Mm -hmm. We take input from the field and we're very interested in content partnerships. Mm -hmm. We already have content partnerships with uh, Los Angeles uh, Unified, or sorry, Los Angeles County Office of Education, if James is in here, uh, and Sanger out in California as well, mm -hmm. have partnerships with other organizations because we are interested in finding the best of the best resources that you all would value in your practice. Uh, participate in the uh, field change efforts, as you already saw from Allison and Sue's outreach. There's great opportunities for you to be a part of this formation. Uh, and obviously, gives you an opportunity to increase and demonstrate your knowledge of UDL and in your implementation skills. For each one of you who do not yet have one oh, of these gorgeous blue ribbons. Check your bag, badge. You will receive a communication from us after the event and we'll give you a discount code so that each one of you can get that credential and have a reduced barrier in being able to do so. So thank you so much. We appreciate the opportunity to be up here and share a little bit more about learning design. And obviously I'm very happy to have Kathy and Sung here to share in particular how they're valuing learning design for the work in California. So thank you. Thank you, Steve.